Greetings everyone, I'm Hal Mocha Levan. Thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in, or using, Dreams of Austria mod. In which we're also using the State Chester Tool mod, as well as the Player of the Peace Conferences. So, uh, we are, like I said, using the Dreams of Austria mod, in which we shall do the Fatherland Front. Established in 1933 by the previous Austrian Chancellor, Engelbert Dolfus. The Fatherland Front is a mm -mm, F-word political p organization, in a vein closer to Italy's and Spain's fascism, rather than that of the German Reicherino. Essentially a coalition government, the Fatherland Front was formed the, from the merging of the Christian Social Party, the Landbund, elements of the Austrian Catholic clergy, and the paramilitary group, the Heimwehr. Having led Austria through two short but brutal civil wars, the Front governs a nation that is anything but stable, and the nation now stands at an important crossroads. Will the Fatherland Front remain strong and lead Austria down Chancellor Dolphus's path to greatness all? Will the front collapse and give way to something new, or even something old? Now, at the time of this recording, uh, we're going to go down the Fatherland front with with the Heimwehr front down here for the legacy of Engel Engelbert Dolphus, because this is the most fleshed out path. Eventually, we will get a monarchist path, a more democratic path, which has like a conservative liberals and probably social democratic path as well. But for now, we're going to go down with this path because this is the most fleshed out path available to us. And we shall read the legacy of Engelbert Dolphus. Although Mr. Schmidtley's or Schmidtler's minions assassinated Chancellor Dolphus two years ago, his legacy still lives on in the hearts of his people and in the soul of the party. We, the pious and noble Austrians, or rifle Germans, Austrians really, will stand against communism, national daddyism, and as well as all the other evils of the world. The Catholics of Europe will flock to our banner as we lead a grand crusade to purge Europe of all the demons who ail it. We get political power and more uh, fascism. Cool. The Federal State of Austria, or Österreich. It's been a year and a half since the Engelbert Dolphus, the founder of the Fatherland Front and former Chancellor of Austria, was assassinated by the Austrian Nazarenos, but his absence is still felt to this day. Without his leadership, Austria continues to wrestle with the aftermath of the Great Depression, when many other European nations have long since started down the road to recovery. Our military still remains crippled by the Treaty of saint germain en laye Its size kept a mere 30,000 troops. The German Reich to our north is practically salivating at the mouth, sensing our weakness, even as they go stronger with every passing month. Now, with the Italians floundering in their way in their war with Ethiopia, our greatest allies no longer willing nor able to defend us, things are looking bleak for Austria and the Fatherland Front. However, we know the Austrian spirit is unbreakable and that we will still persevere through the trials ahead. Chancellor Schuschnigg may not be the leader Dolphus was, but he and the Fatherland Front are destined to bring Austria back to greatness. We will fend off Germany and secure Austria's position on the world stage as a leader of the Catholic world. Austria, awake, full of the Fatherland. Now, I'll let you know I've not practiced this at all. I've actually, I think Dunehammer Gaming you know, did a campaign of this uh, already, but I I didn't see his stuff. I, I don't know what's going to happen. And I want to let you know right now, this is on A Historical, so we'll see what happens. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but we're going to have a, hopefully, a fun time together. The National Spirits, preserving our independence. Ooh. Treaty of St. Germain and La... Ooh. That hurts. The Great Depression. Ooh. The Heimwehr. Not bad. Not great for stability, but that's okay. And which support from the church. We love the church. Stability. Secure Italian support. If they accept the following will occur, providing support to Italy for 180 days, we lose political power, recruitable population factor, consumer goods. Ooh. Uh, empower the Heimwehr. Ooh, we lose that political power, but we get more daily political power. Ooh. Ooh. I want to do that and maybe get Italian support. So, okay, yes, the men of the Heimwehr can be overzealous at times. They lack the discipline of true soldiers and can be a tad bit rowdy after a long night at the pub. But no other group embodies the spirit of the Fatherland Front and our values quite like the strong and pious men of the Heimwehr. Without their aid, it's very likely that the socialists would have defeated us in the Civil War. Chancellor Schuschnigg may view them as a potential destabilizing threat, but he knows that we still need them to secure our homeland from the corruptive influences of the Nazis and Soviets. Oh, hello, Germany. Oh, hey, look at this. Nice. Good job, Germany. You start off strong. And there's nothing I really care about here. So what do we have here? We have Treaty of the Saint Germain, which is evil and should be removed as fast as possible. Ooh, what do we have over here? Counterintelligence. Nice. That's something I don't really think I see too much. Counterintelligence plus 1% or plus 1. Not bad. Let's grab some mechanical computing because we like computing mechanical stuff. Uh, just, oh, you get, that's a lot of stability and political power. Not bad. I love the, uh, the construction stuff here. We such speed. Ooh, legitimacy gain. Wait, is this EU4? Wait, hold on. What? Hmm. Okay, 5% more stuff. Okay. A Minister of the Interior. Oh, I love the PP. Hmm. 
Minister of Agriculture. <sighs> I've got to go with the PP dude. I've got to get him. We only get... Wow, we have, like, no war support and, like, no stability. 1.58. Oh, I've, I've got to go this way. Oh, but we lost that political power. God dang it, bad words. Anyways, whatever. Justify World Goals times minus 33%. Justify World Goals times on Esco is by, down by 15%. Though. So becomes leader of the F-word party, huh? Weekly fascism, huh? Hmm. Well, well, since this is that's the way we're going, are we getting any more daily change? Uh, Technically, yes and no, but yes. But technically, no. Um, All right, well... Hmm... We get war support. Let's see if we can secure Italian support. It is no secret that Hitler and Nazi agents in Austria schemed to Anschluss all nation. Unfortunately, due to the hindrances placed on us by the Treaty of Saint Germain and Lai, if I'm saying that right, or Lai, Lai, -E, we are too weak to defend ourselves from the might of the Germans. In this dark time, there is only one country we can turn to for help: our old guardian Italy. Mussolini and the Italian fascists were determined rivals of the Germans, but recently the Italians have grown closer to the Germans. After the League of Nations denounced Italy's costly war in Ethiopia, we must do all that we can to win the Italian back to our side even if it requires a substantial bribe cool and after that uh, the divisions we're making well we're trying to make some infantry divisions which are not very good they're not very good I'll be honest they're not very good the Schneller divisions the fast divisions looking kind of nice but still not that good but I like this Le second London Naval Treaty sign cool let's grab some dispersed industry because I love dispersed industry and then we'll do the fatherland rally so we can do a change in management Austrians have an ancient predisposition towards being fantastic soldiers capable of forming some of the largest and greatest empires in history. However, our warrior spirit has been broken over time, especially after a defeat in the Great War and the bloodshed, or bloodshed, of our two civil wars. We need to reinvigorate our people's fighting spirit and remind them of the strength that resides in their hearts. Rallies will be held in every major city to fill our people with a sense of prideful nationalism that they haven't felt in a long time. Italy accepts a friendship. Yes, Italy. Yes. Catholic bros unite. Once more, our safety and independence has been guaranteed by our Italian friends. The Germans have ceased their unification rhetoric and have backed off, at least for now. We can now look to improve our economy and military in preparation for our ascension. Together, we shall keep Germany in check, which I'm not going to touch yet, just because... Oh, well, technically we're already losing it. Whatever. You can have it for now. So be it. Italy. E so be it. A change in management, maybe? Chancellor Schuschnigg has done an acceptable job leading the Fatherland Front. Since the death of a beloved Chancellor Adolphus, he has kept the front together the past couple of years, but he is no longer what Austria needs. His moderation and a desire to appease Germany rather than stand against a northern giant is driving Austria down a one-lane road to self-destruction. Vice Chancellor Ernst Stahemberg would be far better Chancellor for our nation, being a Leading member of both the Heimwehr and the Fatherland Front, his charisma and militarism will guide our homeland down the path to greatness. All that we need to do is convince Chancellor Schuschnigg that an early retirement is in his best interest. We lose stability, get more weekly war support, which I love, 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 and I'll get as much war support as possible, because we love war on this channel. At least in-game. In-game. In Minecraft, too, but in-game. Uh, I figured we might as well do that one. Remove our shackles. This may lead to war with the UK and or France. This chance is greatly reduced if Italy has chosen to support us. Renounces the tree. Oh! We can go to limited conscription. We can wait to do that one. Uh, get support from the church. I love the church. Concedes. Uh, okay, UK. To concerning developments. Very concerning. Well, we don't really care too much. Remove all shackles. Austrian revanchism. Now, we do have other things over in other parts of the focus stream, which we will get to soon. Ooh, consumer goods. Standestadt. Infrastructure. Three years. Wow. Uh, military factories. Standestadt. Oh, we get depression. So we'll go do strict austerity. If we're to combat the effects of the Great Depression, we m we m me must be willing to make sacrifices for the betterment of all. Public funding must be brought to a minimum. Cuts be made across the board, all except for the Bundeswehr. Our people are resilient, pious, and strong, and they will weather the difficulties ahead with resolve and pride. We get less consumer goods, but quite a bit less. Oh, there goes off the Spain. Uh, stability, which is a little painful. Not gonna lie. And before we lose this guy... So, more political power, more stability, more fascism, and daily support for the unaligned. Well, I mean, it's not bad. It's just not great. I prefer the dude who gives us more fascism right now just because he gives us more fascism. Go figure. And we don't have enough divisions to help these guys out. So, it's on a historical, like I said, as you can tell. But, uh, we still can't send volunteers, which sucks, but whatever. Change in management. Strict austerity. Thank you. Hello. Are you handsome? Well, he's, he's trying to become handsome. Ernst Rudiger. Stahemberg. We lost stability. Wow. Look at that stability. But we get weekly war support, which I just wanted that. We get daily fascism stuff. We don't like Germany at all. The federal state of Austria. Austerreich. Nice. There we go. We get more 
more fascism so uh let's see up next austrian revanchism for the fatherland we can wait to do that one we're at the center shall we after the death of our two civil wars cleared it seems as though only the fatherland front remains standing this is only partially true remnants of the socialist and republican bloc still hide in the shadows spreading divisive propaganda that weakens our control of the nation pan german and nazi sympathizers alike continue to plague us as well being fairly prominent even within our army if we're to fully consolidate our hold over austria we need to first make sure that we have rooted out and eliminated any wolves who may be hiding in sheep's clothing now we also like i said we have other things like the bundes here in which we can go with the screaming squall superior five hour the soldiers of the output grand battle plan the updated great war strategies for mass assault or blitzkrieg doctrine with mobile warfare schwerpunkt is not bad oh more doctrine nice the greeks of war oh hello i'll be honest like i don't normally play like vanilla of course vanilla which this is dreams of austria but there still has a lot of elements of vanilla in it so it's totally fine uh, i don't remember a lot of what happens, especially after the Battle for the Bosphorus came out. So, new graphic designs. Pilot emphasis. Now, right now, we are emphasizing... Oh, look at that. We got more manpower. Look at that. Nice. We're actually... Oh, oh yeah. Our god gives us more manpower. Uh, this is what we're trying to create. And we're going to be using bombers in this campaign. So, just to let you know. Just to warn you all. Mm, we get a division template containing nine mountaineers and an engineer support company. Ooh. In Spanavin. Austrian regional development. Building slots. Develop Bohemia. Bavaria. Venice. Slovenia, Lower Austria, Upper Austria, Tyrol, and Sud Tyrol. Nice, awesome. State corporatism, putting all sectors of our economy under the direct supervision of the government is surely a recipe for success. We will dictate to our corporations what to produce and exactly how much should be produced, cutting out wasteful spending and on, on manufacturing things like consumer goods and luxuries. Our people don't need that. Why waste time and resources making a fancy dress when 10 army uniforms could be made for the same cost and in the same amount of time? Because you like the girl wearing that dress. We'll put it like that. Some dresses, I'll be honest, like I don't wear dresses, but when some girls wear some dresses, it's like, wow. I'm just saying, I'm putting that out there immediately. Anyways, let's move on. Let's root out the center, shall we? State corporatism. Autobahn bond, uh, really for the farmers, shall we? Although we've cut as much public funding as possible, there are certain exceptions which must be made. Not only are farmers some of our greatest supporters, but the agricultural industry never quite recovered by the sudden and destructive fracturing of our empire. If we do not help them, our country may potentially face an unending economic crisis or even famines. For these reasons, subsidization of the agricultural sector must be prioritized. Let's double check here. Do we have fighters? No, which I'm glad we checked. We need better fighters. We're going to get 0 0.52 a day. The Greeks have war. Wait. Are they having a second civil war? Well, we saw that they were killing each other earlier under George II, as well as Themistocles Sophulis. Oh, I am so good at pronouncing names. So good. Georg. Yeah, we even got that extra political power due, but whatever. Or political, yeah, like this guy. It's, it's not enough, man. It's not enough. Ah. Nah, it's better. Slightly better. Cool. After that, prop up Staya arms. Struggling to survive since the Treaty of St. Germain imposed limitations on our army. Our military, Steyr arms have had to resort to mainly automobile manufacturing just to survive. No matter the skill and determination of our soldiers, they cannot win wars without rifles and ammo. Thanks to all the cuts to the public programs, our government has plenty of money to spare to help prop up Austria's only major arms manufacturer. The rise of the Austrian war machine begins here and now. Execute... Oh! DNSAP members assassinate some dudes... Whoa! Cleanse. Ooh! Cleanse the. Oh, I always say his name wrong. Oh, I'm not even going to say the G word. Hmm. I would like to do this because I don't want the Great Depression here. I don't know about you, but I don't like Great Depressions. Wow, minus 45. Bad word support. Okay, we got to do Austrian Autobahn then. I want to get rid of that as fast as possible. As much as we hate to admit it, the German Autobahn is truly a model of engineering. One that we'd love to emulate. With our own Autobahn, our military would be able to traverse the mountainous terrain of home of our homeland with greater ease, increasing the flow of trade between or trade goods between our cities, which can only do good things for our economy. We shall build our very own highway system, one that'll put the Germans to shame. Gedarme. I probably said that wrong already. I apologize. Oh my goodness. Gedarme? Gedarme. You know, I, I gotta look that up again. I looked it up before, but I can't even remember now. My mind is just gone right now woof. Woof, 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 woof. I love it oh with 51% war support it's just mm. Austrian Autobahn even though we're trying to build some civvies look at that nice but happy 1937 everyone hope you're having a great grand grandiose year it's time for modest bus industry and after this 
power of the Ustandestadt. The Ustandestadt of the corporate state is our nation's greatest strength and form the core of our economy and that follow and fronts domestic policy. Being able to hyperfocus our industries on specific types of manufacturing, pushing aside the wasteful demands of the free market has already proven itself to be a true boon. The negative effects of such a highly controlled economy, such as the lack of civilian luxuries, is offset by the strength of spirit and iron will of our common citizens. Our people will do anything, sacrifice anything, to bring glory to the fatherland. Yes, they will. We get even more construction speed, cap, and the last consumer goods. Sign us up, and we get 45% more stability because we get this done. Yes! I don't know. Should I be doing, um... Well, let's get this one up done. And let's see. Ob Oba Osterreich. How fast can we build it up? May 17th? Uh... How fast can we do that? November... Uh... Uh... I don't want to do that. Uh, we'll do that. We've got a few years for that left. So, after this, remove our shackles. We're going to execute a few D D S D N S A P members. There are many Nazi traitors languishing within our cells, most having been imprisoned after the failed push that followed Chancellor Dolphus's assassination. Until now, we've had con we've had been we had been content to let them rot in their cells, but recent events have forced us to rethink our policy of diplomacy. A message must be sent to the Nazis within our borders and outside of them. Those who stand against Austrian independence will find themselves dead in a ditch or swinging from a noose. Ah, we love nooses. Construction, yes, please. Assassinate the democratic populace. Zealous Republicans have begun speaking out rather boldly against the Fatherland Front, criticizing our suppression of political opponents, especially the Social Democratic Workers' Party, the SDAP. Karl Renner, the Chancellor of Austria from 1918 to 1920 and the de facto leader of the SDAP, has outwardly adopted an air neutrality, but we know better. He is absolutely sowing dissent amongst the people, leading his communist allies in the plots against the Fatherland. It's time for Mr. Renner to have an unfortunate accident. Nice. Very good. Uh, that is fighters, right? Yeah, there you go. Into all my cars. We'll get there eventually. Beautiful. Ah, let's get rid of the democratic... Eh, let's, let's get do prisoner stuff first, so we get more political power, so that way we can spit on other stuff first as well. Um, we can go straight to war economy. Wow, that is impressive. I would like to grab this stuff first, but, I mean, if we can go straight to war economy... Uh, just... It's not bad. If we did this one now, it would be down on May 14th, which is not bad, but July... June, uh, oh, I like the bonus, but... Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, that's so nice. More stability now. Oh, it feels so good. A one-party state. I love one-party states. They throw the best parties. Uh, the Serbian military junta. The Catholic state of Croatia. Their foreign papal states. The Swiss state. The Berlin Commission. You know, we're focusing hard to become fascist here, or we already are fascist or whatever. Um, and we're trying to be as Catholic as possible. Can we get, like, a very, very pro-Protestant Germany sometime? That'd be kind of cool. Or even, maybe, how about Sweden? A very, very pro-Protestant Sweden. That'd be kind of cool. Well, maybe that's just me. Ah, the Democratic populace go bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. See you later. Cool. After that, oh, cleansing the government... Uh, the church, the church, has, oh, Christian education. I love education. Support from the church. One of the pillars that Austrian society is built upon is Catholicism. Faith and piety are important values to our people, and we must show them that we are no short supply of either of them. Empowering high-ranking priests, giving gifts to the Vatican, and awarding special privileges to the clergy are just a few of the ways we may curry favor with the church, with their backing. Our legal authority will be paired with a moral authority, and with the holiness himself, the Pope. Because the Pope loves fascism, right? Mm, don't quote me on that last one. Support from ah, the most pious one. So, can we get Pope Daddy back? I should play as a Pope and Vicky too. Hmm. Someday. I'm not sure when. Oh, and he, I guess these guys have got to upgrade, huh? Wilhelm Zena and Alpha Jansa. Oh, definitely that one. And then we'll go with the offensive doctrine, probably. Zener. We go with more attack. Danke. And then we should do clerical fascism. Uh, we'll do stability first. Ah, good. Got some pre machine tools. 
<clears throat> the soul of Austria. You will never find a true Austrian who doesn't believe in the church and the Catholic faith with all of their heart. Catholicism is so tightly interwoven with their people's culture that they are nearly one and the same. When we say the Fatherland Front is a Christian movement, we mean it. We fight not only to expand our borders, but also to protect our people's very souls against the evils that plague Europe and the degenerate world. Oh, hello! Oh, is that is that good or bad? Because do we need hungry with us? We might need hungry with us. I don't know. But okay. Hey, look. We're getting some army XP. I love it. All right. The clerical fascism. Okay. The Fatherland Front is both a political and religious movement. Fascism tied with the religious elements or clerical fascism. As a branding we wear with pride. Fascism that replaces God with the state is not true fascism. It is as evil as communism. And it is why we will never reconcile with the German Reich. Thanks to the backing of the church, though, our people and soldiers know that we fight not only for our nation, but to also protect God's kingdom on earth, which means I've got to go get Israel. Or get the uh, Holy Lands back. <clears throat> Hmm. Which path? Hmm. Hmm. Bundesheer. You know what? What if I will let you guys decide which land auction we should use? This is probably a really bad idea because I should really research land auction as fast as possible. But should we go down the uh, this route, the mobile warfare route, with armored troop transports, medium tank bonuses, division attack bonuses, heavy tank models, Schwerpunkt. Should we go with the Screaming Squall, the new artillery pieces, uh, so expanded support units, killing zones, I like that, specialized artillery, two, time on target, innovations of munitions and cannons, uh, support units, three, overwhelming firepower, should we go with the soldiers of the Alperinos, Alpine Yegas? <clears throat> I will let you guys decide in the comments below, I will tally up all comments, as well as the thumbs up from all those comments who report for what? Industrial Investments 2. Human Wave Tactics. We get more population. I like that. Um, Industrial Investments 2. Patriotic Fervor. So you get 2% total more population. Not bad. So I'll let you guys decide about that. So I'm going to wait for the land auction, which is probably a really bad idea. But oh well. Let's get some support weapons, shall we? After we fight for the soul. What is this? Uh, 35 days Austrian original development. Upper Austria. We do get some free civvies, which I do kind of like. But... The clerical fascism is what we must do. Oh, there goes that was fast. Well, I mean, it was Catalonia. What do you expect? Oh wow, the civil war's over. Wow. Okay, that was really fast. The military junta. Good job, guys. Oh, tactical bomber Eins. Cool. So we got those guys done. We don't really have a navy. I don't know if it's going to be really super important for us to develop a navy. But let's get some light tanks, shall we? Nice. And then we should go to the state visit from the man himself, the Pope. Our strong piety and recent actions to strengthen the position of the church has come to the attention of the Pope himself. It is publicly announced that his next state visit will be in Austria so that he can meet and encourage our people. Not only does this make us look good to our people and the rest of the Catholic world, it also sends a message to Germany. We have many powerful friends willing to help us out if a conflict should ever arise between us. Oh, boy. That's a lot of peepee. Wow. That is a lot of peepee. I love it. One party state, huh? I love, I love this free stability. I mean, this is great. I love the free war sport. I mean, <clears throat> I love it. And of course, we're going to need it where we're headed. So, a Christian education. Science is a powerful tool for humanity, but it's also a dangerous one. Some use it to justify their atheism and rail against the powers of the church when really science is proof of God's existence. A proper Christian education will give our people the knowledge and skills they need while simultaneously strengthening their piety and their souls. We are using science to uncover the Lord's truth. That is why we conduct in scientific experiments. Ah, uh, Semperate. Ah, uh, I've seen you before, Semperate. Steyadama Push. Skoda. Rotox. I like that arrow. Ah, improvement machine tools, nice. Well, we should do something here. Political power and stability. Even more PP. Eventually, the PP is not going to be worth it. 10% more construction speed, though. Mm. Oh, more stability and consumer goods factories. Oh, boy, there's so many good things here. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for the consumer goods factories first, maybe. Yeah, I guess it's more stability, which is nice, but I want the factories. I want to just build, 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 build. Like the guy named Bob. Who, he built a lot, if you didn't know, so... Bob the Builder, if you haven't heard of him ever, so just saying. Was he Austrian? That'd be really cool. Bob the Builder Austrian. The world may never know. Hmm. Eh, we might need field hospitals too, so let's grab that one. Bundesliga chaplains? I like that, but that one we can wait. 
science helps us uncover the, the Lord's message. All right, so right now, what do we have? Fif Fifteen already? Nice. Good stuff, my friends. Good, jolly good stuff. Uh, what do we want? What do we want? Xander, defense, maneuvers, organization, planning. Rouse. Ah, Matana, yes, yes. Artillery, Martinique. Well, let's go with, it's 1937, we're about to be 1938, we'd like, oh, we do a for that, huh? Hmm, hmm, our finding, well, this is, I like this one just because it gives you synthetic resources and research speed, which we will use later on, so, um, but this stuff is good as well. But at the same time, um, ah, screw it, we'll do that one, I don't care. So what do we do next? Move our shackles? Let's do Austrian revanchism, probably. So we can start going down this main route. So, Germany was not the only nation to lose land and prestige following the great, our defeat in the Great War. Germany lost a few strips of land in Poland and on the French border. Our entire empire was decimated, chopped into pieces, and then fed to the Italians and Serbian wolves. The Treaty of St. Germain will be the last shame our people will ever be forced to endure. From now on, we march under the banner of revanchism. We will bring all of the, our enemies to their knees and reclaim our rightful place in the world. I like that justify war goals times. That's actually really, really nice. Oh! Okay, the wreck is gone. Well... Does that screw things up here? That might. All all festivals, huh? Preserving our independence, we get more population, which is good. Um, <laughs> it is thirty-seven still. I guess we could maybe do some of this if we really wanted to. Here, airplane catapults. We don't have any coastal cities, but hey, that's okay. A ah, okay, Yugoslavia, huh? Let's do Austrian revanchism. And a fourth research slot makes me feel so good on the inside sometimes. Just in case for the future. Remove all shackles. It's time to do this one. If the past several years of Hitler's rule in Germany has revealed anything about the Western Allies, it is that they are paper tigers. Either unwilling or unable to enforce the treaties of the Great War. It is long past time that we cast off those shackles unfairly placed upon us by the old Entente. The Bundesheer must be fully mobilized as soon as possible and every able-bodied man must be conscripted to fill its ranks. War is coming to Europe and Austria must be ready. Ah, oh, the approach to German Empire, huh? Horrible tension, removes the Treaty of St. Germain and Ley, Ley. Oh, hello. Oh, that sucks for Carlists. I'm gonna go to limited conscription immediately. Yeah, that really sucks for the Carlists. I still have not played them before, though. Ah, oh, Franco, why do you look so... not handsome yet? Anything else here? Improve working conditions? Well, I think we're okay. We already have maxed out war support. Holy crud. The treaty, so we get 50% more recruitable population factor and 10% more war support that we don't really need. Oh, what do we want here? Formalizing an alliance. Pact of Rome. We already, well, technically. Technically. We're, we're supposed to be in it, but I thought they already created it. Did they create it or not? The guaranteeing our independence as well as Albania's independence. Is this really the, oh my god, I forgot how bad the Italian focus tree was in base game. Holy crap, this is bad. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, it pains me. Paradox, why? Oh god, how much more money am I going to have to pay for an, an okay focus tree for Italy that I'll play once or twice? Uh, <clears throat> why a paradox? Well, hmm. For the fatherland. Catholic Alliance. Well, we could do this one anyways. Uh, Catholic Alliance. Do we want to have a Catholic Alliance? Does this hurt us anywhere? Angelus Os Venice is not in a faction. Well, we can always leave the faction later, right? I want to take Italy for now. How about that? We'll do a Catholic alliance for now and see what happens. With a friendship with Italy rebuilt, it only makes sense we take things to the next logical step and form a proper military alliance with them or just marry them. Whatever our greater ambitions may be, it isn't likely that Italy will accept being second to us and we will have to accept a lower, a lower position in the alliance if there, is, if there is ever to be one. Still, Italy should prove to be a useful ally in the short term and with them leading our alliance, Catholic nations across Europe are certain to rally to our cause, which maybe should, actually is actually pretty good to do. Since they might help us get more people under us. Austria announces the Treaty of St. Germain. Now, I don't know what that... Is that a cross or a T? I don't, I'm not really sure. Because that's on, you know, the flag here. But I'm not sure what that is. It's just an iron cross, I guess. That's what it is. Uh, I don't know. Don't ask me. More stability would not be bad. More political power is okay. Construction speed. I want to build, man. I just want to build. France backs down. Despite the fears of our foreign and economic ministries, it appears France has done little more than officially object to our rearmament. It appears we can continue down the path of glory unhindered by them. 
We made the right choice. And same thing with the UK. Good. They be shaking in the boots. We still don't have a faction, though. That's all right, though. After our Catholic alliance, what are we going to do? Bundesheer rearmament. The full Bundesheer focus tree will be unlocked. Nice. The city of Saint Germain has been ripped apart. Its pieces turned to dust. The destiny of our homeland is finally in our own hands once again. Still, the years since the Great War has done a real number of on our army. Most veterans have long since retired, resulting in the vast majority of our soldiers being green and untested. To make matters even worse, we have no great stockpile of equipment to even begin equipping, equipping an expanded army. Clearly, there is still much work to be done, but our people are certainly up for the task. How about we just send volunteers to China? I'm sure they're probably going to be having a great time in March of 1938. That sounds like not a bad idea. Ah, Italy, yes. M Mussolini. Mussolini is a great man. Our Catholic alliance grows ever stronger. Soon we'll be able to exert our will upon Europe and the rest of the world. Together for Christendom. Oh, wait, are we leading? Oh, they're still in the Civil War. Oh, uh, I just wish we were leading it. Because this is it. Why, green? Ugh. Ah, uh, look at that chin. My gosh. Oh, Mexico's killing itself. Ah, uh, but what else is new? Mexico, you stay you. Heavy ship hulls? How about some cruiser hulls? We're cruising for some thickies. Bundesia Realmament invites Spain, Hungary. Well, technically, aren't they already in here? So, since the time of St. Stephen, the Hungarians have been faithful defenders of Christendom. Beaten and battered in the Great War, they share a similar fate to us and at the end with a horrible treaty being imposed upon them. Though they've been wary of us, we could easily win them over to our side by showing them that we have no intention of annexing to reform Austria-Hungary. No, we are but two pious fascist nations looking to retake their places in the world. We will make full natural allies. Great Spain and Portugal. Oh, they're still in a civil war, so... Gross Osterreich. We requires Bundesheer. Oh, there goes those guys. Well, Polish Romania alliance. Oh, yeah, I guess. The form Greater Austria will become available. Cool. Invite us. Oh, man. German Empire's here. Now, von Mackensen, are you going to go with democracy? Or are you going to go with the Kaiserreich? The rebuilding nation, so we, we won't know for a while. Oh, and we are building this up fast. I like that. We're still building up Tyrol as well, which is nice. After that, we're going to do the Gross Osterreich. We dream of a new empire. One that unites Catholic Germans all under one banner. Our dream is, our dream is a revanchist in nature. Our rifle lands have been stolen from us over the past several centuries. But we ha will have our revenge. Our stolen land will be returned by force. And the minions of communism, Nazism, and all other evils will tremble at the might of the Greater Austria. Cool. 38, 38, 38. What are we going to do in 38? Get better anti-air, because I don't want to put level 1 anti-air on potential ships. Uh, since we're doing ship stuff, we might as well go with Rotox, Skoda... Hmm, that does not look good. Uh, this is not good, but this is just so much worse for carriers. Minus 20% dex size, even though we're not really using them. 20% us armor on capital ships, heavy tech, and max range. Uh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, nope. I want to take out Switzerland. I want to beat the crap out of the Swiss. Uh, sorry if you're Swiss. Kingdom of Hungary accepts our invitation. Our Catholic alliance grows ever stronger. Soon we'll be able to exert our will upon Europe and the rest of the world, together for all of Christendom. Welcome aboard, Hungary. Now I can take my soldiers off your border. For now. Actually, since we're here, how much infantry equipment do we actually have? Not enough. At least make up 10 combo with at the very minimum. After Gross Osterreich, demand Swiss sub submission. Dominate the Balkans. Revenge against the Entente. Invite Poland? Mm, I think I'll wait on that one. How about Spain, Portugal, one party state? Hmm. Anschluss Bavaria. Partition Czechoslovakia. Anschluss Bohemia. Ooh. Integrate them. Uh, acclaim Wargal. Partition them. Austrian ultimatum. Bohemian Lebensraum. More of the compliance, huh? Bavaria. Integrate them. Uh, Venice. We won't do that eventually. Slovenia. I think we might go down this way. Partition Yugoslavia. An Austrian ultimatum. Integrate them. Oh, if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Or partition them. I think we might want to try to even 
Maybe we could try to partition Yugoslavia. I don't think our forces are really ready, but let's try to partition them. The artificial state of Yugoslavia is an insult to everyone in the Balkans. Even many of, of the peoples within their border despise the state. Thanks to our new allies, we should have no issue imposing our will upon them and forcing the breakup of their nation. Slovenia will go to us. Vojvodina and West Banat to Hungary. And the Croatia, Bosnia will may be made independent under our supervision, of course. Ooh. You better get some boys on the line here, then. Oh, conference. Oh, Mexico has killed Mexico. Good job, Mexico. Can't wait to see that again. And we have a few planes around here. Obviously not that great. But we're doing the best we can. Hey, we got a good amount of manpower now. If so, mobilizing more. That's nice. And we shall grab some depth charge throwers because we can. Then 38. What else can we do here? Not a lot. Military police, maybe? Maybe? And I'd like to integrate them. Demand Swiss submission. We could try that. The Swiss are weak. They rely far too heavily on the vaunted neutrality to keep them safe. The resources and strategic location in the Alps will be put to better use under our control. We will send them an ultimatum, demanding their submission to us. Who knows? Maybe they might give up without a fight. Maybe. That'd be really good. And what will Yugoslavia say to us? Computer machine. I love it. 1.75 political power. That's not enough. We demand more. More PP. They bow to our demands, look at that, facing the threat of a multi-front war. The peoples of Yugoslavia have wisely chosen to submit themselves to us without a fight. Already our troops and those of our allies have begun crossing the borders and disarming the Yugoslavian soldiers. We have conquered Slovenia without a single shot fired. They not know they know who the superiors are. Good. Wow. The Catholic state of Croatia. We found a friend in Croatia. Uh let's see. Wow. Now this is not bad. Hungry, you're looking... Uh, that's a little awkward to see that. A little bit of a tight little poker from Romania to you. But it's not bad. Catholic City, Croatia. Hey, look. Aloysius Stepinak. Do they have a focus tree? They do have... Do they? This is a unique focus tree? Ooh. Nice. Serbia. Kind of a generic one. That's totally okay. Montenegro still exists under... Well... Well, technically, hmm. Uh, let's see. Do they have this? Yes? Yes? Belgrade? Oh, uh, Macedonia as uh, yeah. It's weird that this didn't go to Bulgaria, but whatever. But Serbia is under Italian uh, influence, and we have these guys under us, too, so. Not bad. I like it. I like it a lot. The Fourth International. Well, we don't have a big old board against these guys, but we'll do the best we can. Hopefully, we can use the Italians to help. Take them out. Oh, uh, well, mature designer Skoda, of course. Uh, road tax is probably what we want. Revenge, Anschluss, Partition, Austrian Ultimatum. Oh, uh, bum 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 bum. Well, Slovakia, Czechoslovakia. Well, oh yeah, that looks really, that looks better. Oh, we don't have a core on them, huh? Actually, occupied territories, civilian oversight. Yeah, that's pretty much the best one we can do here. There's no extra thing that would give us more stuff. That sucks. Uh, well, Czechoslovakia. Through Hungary, we can still touch their little soft underbellies, hopefully. Anschluss? Take a claim state war goal. We should partition Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia is, quite frankly, an abomination that besmudges Central Europe. Unfortunately for them, they are surrounded by neighbors who hate them for possessing lands that were once theirs. Unfortunately for us, though, most of these neighbors are our allies. If we all apply pressure on the Czechs together, it's very possible that they will fold and give up without a fight. That is assuming they have no powerful allies of their own, of course. And, and Switzerland submits. As the ministers predicted, the Swiss have given up without a fight, further proving that neutrality is the greatest weakness a nation can show. Now that they're under our thumb, we, uh, we will have a new front that can be opened with Germany and Italy, of, if necessary, of course. Perhaps even full annexation will become an option in the future. They know who their superiors are. Good. The Swiss state. They never stood a chance. Hey, they didn't change the flag. Otto Fogalias? I pronounced that completely wrong. Now that's a nice focus tree. That is really nice. Wow. These guys are going to kill each other in 38. The, the Japanese are a little late to the party. Holy cowsers. Basic cruiser ammo scheme. Alright, check boys. You got... You got an option. Submit or die. Not bad. 15-7, not bad. Is there anything we can do with the Swiss? I want to integrate them. Hmm. After this, I think we'll invite Spain. 
It was truly a shame to watch Spanish people tear each other apart in the Civil War, but this is finally over and the communists come were defeated. Now that a proper Christian government are in charge, especially Catholic ones, perhaps they'd like to join our growing alliance? Surely they could use the support in the reconstruction efforts and we could stand and make some more friends. Yes, the Pact of Rome. Maybe maybe someone would call that we were trying to get the a, a, a faction together. Maybe called like a triumvirate or something. Something cool like that, you know. Of course, without the Turks, but we'll see. They, bow, they bowed to our demands. Facing the threat of a multi-front war, the Czechs have wisely chosen to submit themselves to us without a fight. Already our troops and those of our allies have begun crossing the borders and disarming the Czech soldiers. We've conquered Bohemia without even a single shot fired. They know who their superiors are. Oh, wow, that is a nice hungry now. Except for this little bulge. Federal states? Oh, no. Oh, there's no way to get more compliance. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we've got more factories, though. That's nice, though. Guns all the way, my friends. More guns, more guns, and when you're done, make more guns, because guns are good. After this one, we shall integrate Bohemia, probably. Oh, and Slovenia? Bohemia for some. Bohemia is once again under Austrian control, just as it should be. However, the local population appears to be in disagreement about that sentiment. Already, resistance movements have begun to form and have caused dissent against us across the territory. We will need to crack down on this immediately if we hope to reap the benefits of our newly conquered land. Oh, I wouldn't say conquered. I would rather say it's under new management. You gotta, you gotta be more diplomatic about how you say things. Another division. Really? I mean, I'm just gonna put, like, military police on you guys eventually, so. Uh, let's see. There you go. That should save us a little bit more. Some stuff. Especially since, eh, well, technically these guys aren't bad. 500 guns. These guys probably use 480, so. It is what it is. Pair of military training. Form grid to Austria. We need, well, we need basically Bavaria. Ooh, we get another research slot. Nice. Oh, Ghost Osterreich. More recruitable population factor. Consumer goods goes down. Stability goes up. War support goes up, even though we don't need any more stability at all. Or, I mean, war support. We, have, we need more stability, but not war support. What the heck? Sishun Brigade? Who, where are you guys from? I don't remember you guys. After this, who do we want to touch to beat up? The Germans? Why not? Maybe. We'll see what happens. I don't, I don't know. Skoda? We need to do Skoda as well. Uh, I'm going to grab this. No, I'm going to grab this one. There we go. Stability. Invite Spain, and we shall end with integrating Bohemia. Let's see. They accept our invitation. Oh, because of Wilhelm II. Our Catholic alliance grows ever stronger. Soon we will exact our uh, our will upon Europe and the rest of the world together for all of Christendom. That is a great, great thing, my friends. And one more focus. One more focus after this. Because I'm, I'm liking where this is all going. It's almost 1939. Let's grab some heavy cannons just in case. Rate of detection, we might as well just go ahead and grab some dispersed industry for more output. We have a total of 36 factories. Not great, but could be a lot, a lot worse. Nice. Oh, there we go. I, I thought I had a time. Nice. I actually thought we should get some military police early on, and I was nice to myself. Great. Do we have enough support equipment? Wait. Wait, hold on. Holy crap, we got a lot of stuff here. What am I doing? Oh, bad words. There you go. That's some artillery. How about you start training some more guys? There you go. And after integrating Bohemia, we shall probably Bohemian living drum no integrate Slovenia. The Slovenes may think of themselves as an independent people, but we have shown them an indisputable truth that is not the case. Slovenia is once again in Austrian hands. Their unruly people will be cracked down upon if they don't willingly submit to themselves to us. One way or another, Slovenia will be made Austrian. I love it. And we're almost done here. Let's grab that. And do we get anything against these fine, fine folks? Nothing else different. Not really. But I think that'll end today's episode right now. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know in the comments below. Starting in 1939, what land auction should we use? Thanks for watching. And have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.